There was a point in time in our history where the whole purpose of marketing was to, well, sell you things. And it did this through a comforting lie. It's the reason why whenever you saw a beer commercial back in the 80s and 90s, it typically had a really hot chick drinking beer, like Bud Light or Miller Light. The fantasy is that if you too go and drink this beer, you can have the hot chick as well. Like I said, it's a comforting lie. It's the reason why such slogans as it's Miller time exist. You have a hot day at work, you go home, you crack open an ice cold Miller Light, it's Miller time, it's time to relax. It's the same thing with the Spuds McKinsey commercials. You too can be out on the beach potting with a bunch of hot women in bikinis drinking an ice cold Bud Light. Women have the exact same things. Take Dove for example. We asked women to give up their soap and use Dove for seven days. I had some dry spots right here. After using Dove for seven days, they're gone. Dove contains one quarter moisturizing cream. You too can have silky smooth skin and be beautiful, even if you're not. It's a comforting lie. Oh, but those days are, are over because we live in the stupid ages. Instead, we have frumpy, unattractive feminists preaching to us about how women in bikinis to sell beer is a bad thing. Because you know, the patriarchy and the male gaze. And we also seen this rather recently with Victoria's Secret. They went and replaced all their very attractive models with frumpy, unattractive women. The whole point, again, is to sell a fantasy. That you too can look as attractive as one of the Victoria's Secret's angels if you just put on this lingerie. And maybe your husband will put down the Xbox controller for five minutes to pay attention to you. Now there's always been pushback against beauty standards, and I understand that, and some of it for actually good reasons. Back in the 80s, there was a huge issue with bulimia and anorexia, and that was an actual problem. There was a lot of pressure on young women to be thin, real thin, and a lot of that was because of marketing and because of entertainment. And I'm also gonna throw in bad parenting because it's not just society's fault. It doesn't help the fact that kids are cruel, and if you show any kind of weakness or difference, well, you had a giant target painted on you. But these days, we've gone completely the opposite direction. We have healthy at any size. Never mind the fact that you have heart disease and diabetes, you're healthy. And God forbid if you actually go and point this shit out, you get called fat phobic. And God forbid if you're a celebrity who decides you wanna lose weight like Adele. I mean, they treat you like you either murdered a bus full of nuns or you voted for Trump. Now these days, Dove the Soap Company is leading the charge to let's change beauty. And I have to say that this tweet is rather masterful. Detox your feed by feeding yourself toxins. So Dove went and dropped this new video. I guess they teamed up with Unreal Engine to go and create because there's not enough fat chicks in video games. Ugh, it's awful. First off, I gotta point out that this chick is a total mid. I mean, she's not waifu material. So I'm not sure why they're complaining. All they do is make her even more unattractive. So she starts going through the process of stripping off all the armor and you find out that the chick is not skinny. I mean, she ends up being fat. My question is, how does someone that fat squeeze into armor that small? That's not realistic. Wh where's her organs? So she goes and kicks back and lets it all hang out for all the world to see. And as you can see, there's a vast difference between her body type and her character's body type, which is, I would just say, physically fit. Boot proportions, I would say are natural, not overly big. I don't see what the big deal is here. It seems like Dove wants to redefine beauty by making everything ugly. And here we get to the crux of the issue. 74% of girls feel underrepresented in video games. Those poor underrepresented girls, how awful. Maybe there's another franchise they can go and hijack. Oh wait, <laughs> that would be video games. I don't know about you folks, but when I play a video game, I don't wanna be represented because I don't wanna be me. It's the reason why whenever I play a tabletop game, if I have the option, I never play human. Why? Because I am one. This whole idea that you have to see yourself in everything is really retarded. When I played Ghost of Tsushima, which takes place in Japan, you know what I didn't see? Any white people. You know what? I didn't care because I didn't have to see myself in the game. The whole idea behind all this is supposed to be escapist entertainment. I don't need to see myself in a video game because all I want to do is I want to go and have some fun. 
and what sucks about all this is Dub is going to go and vacuum all the fun out of video games by replacing the hot waifus with a bunch of uggos. Because that's what I want when I play a video game, a bunch of ugly people. Remember, this is all about selling a fantasy, not reality. Let's make virtual beauty real. How about no? And I guess this is the real world inspiration for this character. Maybe you should go and put on some well-fitting clothes. Having your fat gut hanging out, not exactly a good look. It's like going to a nude beach and seeing a fat, hairy man with no clothes on. Your eyes are being assaulted. Nobody wants to see that either. And maybe eat a salad? Preferably one without a pound of ham and a bunch of ranch dressing on it? Unfortunately, this plays right into that narrative of you're perfect the way you are, you don't need to change, the world just needs to change for you, and you don't have to improve yourself, which is dumb. Along with it comes a certain amount of entitlement too, like this woman here, she can go get a hot dude like Chris Hemsworth or something, which is not the case, not looking like that. And the same thing applies to men. Young men have to go and improve themselves if they want to go and get a wife. And, and if you want to sit around being lazy and doing nothing all day, well, hopefully you have a giant cock. Maybe you can go find yourself a sugar mama or something. Well, for those of you who are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and click on this next video I have coming up. It'll probably be my Cleopatra one. Go check it out. Like the thing. You know you want to.